Hi everyone, welcome back to the third part of our Reinforced Concrete Frame Quantity Takeoff Series. I'm Onalina Marumo, and if you are new here, a warm welcome to you and to my returning subscribers. Thank you for your ongoing support. Uh, in this three-part series, we've been systematically measuring the various components of a reinforced concrete frame, right? So in the first video, we focused on the column basis, and this takeoff exercise included measuring quantities for the excavation, backfilling, blinding, and concrete to the column basis. And then in the second part, we measured the different types of concrete columns. They are associated formwork and accounted for backfill material. In today's video, which is part three, we'll be quantifying the concrete beams, the concrete slab, and the associated formwork. So let's dive right in. So as with all my exercises, I will be using the standard system of measuring building work um, as guide to taking off quantities for this section of the work. And in today's video, we are going to be referencing page 24 and page 28, which is additional requirements for formwork to slabs, beams, and stairs. Let us look at the contents of, I think by now you guys are familiar with page 24, right? So I'm not going to have a look at it. We'll just go straight to page 24 which talks about the additional requirements for formwork to slabs, beams, and stairs. Additional requirements for formwork to slabs, beams, and stairs. Subclause 23 reads, soffits of solid slabs and hoods, sides and soffits of beams and isolated beams and soffits of stairs and landings are measured in square meters. And then subclause 40 states that formwork to soffits of solid slabs and hoods exceeding 250 millimeters thick shall be given separately in stages of 250 millimeters all right no cognizance shall be taken of the additional thickness caused by inverted beams and then subclause 41 reads formwork to soffits shall be separated into groups propped to a height not exceeding 1.5 meters exceeding 1.5 meters and not exceeding 3.5 meters and thereafter in stages of 1.5 meters i'm only going to read those two because they are of relevance to today's exercise if you do have access to the standard system you can read through it when you get the chance um let's take a look at the drawings we'll be working with uh, in this drawing we can identify two types of beams we have the 250 by 700 millimeter deep perimeter beams right and then we also have the 250 by 600 millimeter internal beams. Yeah? Now, to make our takeoff process more straightforward, I have color coded the perimeter beams in dark green and the internal beams in light green. Um, and additionally, there's a slab, as you can see, that is integrated into the beams, right? And it is 200 millimeters thick. Now, the horizontal dimension of our uh, concrete structure is 11,000 millimeters and then the vertical dimensions and this is from one end to to the other um, is 8,000 millimeters now let's move on to the second drawing which provides a sectional view of our structure all right, you'll notice that I've cleaned this drawing up for you guys uh, and have removed all the other details that we had. Um, so basically, this drawing is crucial for understanding the beam depths, uh, the thickness of our slab and the height from ground level right to the top of the slab. Um, this height information will be essential when we discuss or when we get to the propping of of the formwork later in the takeoff process. So as you can see there, we have our 700 millimeter deep beam, right? These are the perimeter beams. And then we have the 600 millimeter uh, deep beams and those are the internal beams, okay? Now, please keep these measurements in mind as we proceed with our quantity takeoff. All right, so now let's get into the nitty gritty of measuring the concrete beams, right? Uh, to avoid any confusion, I have placed our plan view drawing next to this um, sheet, and this will be our guiding reference for the dimensions, okay? Now, first we'll measure the concrete to the beams, and we will also measure the formwork, okay? Let's begin with the side casts. I've designated my beams as A, 
and B. Now the beams labeled as A are the ones with a depth of 700 millimeters, while the beams labeled as B are 600 millimeters deep. All right, now let's start with the first description there under the side casts for beams. We have 250 times 500 millimeters, but 700 millimeters deep. Now, for those who are wondering about the 500 millimeter dimension, we don't have beams that are 500 millimeters deep. Okay, to simplify the takeoff process, we are going to measure the beams from the bottom of the beam to the underside of the concrete slab and then we're going to measure our slabs through the beam however you do have the option to measure the beams through the slab and measure the concrete slab in between the beams okay. now moving on to the dimensions we need to determine the perimeter length of the 250 by 700 millimeter deep beams all right i have used the simple method of taking the full horizontal length of 11,000 millimeters and multiplying it by two right uh, for the other side so it's that 11,000 times two okay and then for the vertical length you'll see there i took 8,000 millimeters and i deducted 250 on either side resulting in 7,500 millimeters which i also multiplied by two for the other side when you add these two lengths up they give you a total of 37,000 millimeters. So we go there to the dimension column, we put there 37.00, and then I've, like I've said, I have labeled it as A. Now moving on to the 600 millimeter uh, deep beams. We have said 250 by 400 millimeters, but 600 millimeters deep. Because our beam is 600 millimeters, when we deduct the thickness of the slab, we're left with 400 millimeters. So that's why we have 250 times 400 millimeters, but 600 millimeters deep. So we did the same thing here. We took the full length, right, of 11,000 and deducted 250 on either side, uh, resulting in 10,500. And then for the vertical lengths, okay, you could obviously add these up um, by saying 3625 times 1, 2, 3, 4 because of those intersections. Or you can take the full length of 7,500, which is what I've done, and then you multiply it by 2. So it's 7,500 multiplied by 2. And then when you add the horizontal lengths and the vertical lengths together, you get 25,500. Now to account for the intersections, you then deduct 2 times 250, which takes care of these intersections there. That gives you 500, you say 25,500 minus 500, and that results in a total length of 25,000 for the internal beams. And yeah, you put that um, in your dimension column. As always, I have prepared a measuring list to ensure we cover everything accurately. So we're going to start first with the concrete beams, right? We're going to measure concrete to the beams and then we are going to measure formwork. Let's start with the first description there. It says reinforced concrete, 30 MPA slash 19 millimeter stone in slabs, beams and inverted beams. And I've underlined the beams because that is uh, what we are measuring. We're measuring the concrete to the beams. Now that we already have our lengths, it makes um, putting down our dimensions very um, easy and straightforward. So we take um, that perimeter length there for the uh, perimeter beams put the 37 and then we multiply it by the thickness of the of the beam which is 0 0.25 and then by the depth of 0 0.50 and then we move on to b which is the um, 600 millimeter deep beam so we put there the perimeter length or the length which is 25 we multiply that by 0 0.25 and then by 0 0.40, which is the depth of the 
of the beam okay now that we're done with the concrete we can move on to the formwork so our description reads formwork to sides and soffits of beams including propping up exceeding 3.5 meters not exceeding 5 meters high we put there 37 which is the which is the length of the perimeter beams and then to get the 1.25 we said 500 times 2 plus 250 and that gives us 1250 so we put there 1.25 and then we're done with the perimeter beams now moving on to the internal beams we determined the the length uh, as 25 meters so we put the 25 and to get the 1.05 we said 400 plus 250 plus 400 right which is 400 times 2 plus 250 to get a total of um, 1050 so we put there 1.05 and just like that we're done with the formwork to the sides and soffits of our beams now moving on to the concrete slab there's our diagram again all right so let's start the with the description for the concrete to the slabs so we say reinforced concrete 30 mpa slash 19 millimeter stone and slabs beams and inverted beams have underlined slabs because that's we're measuring the concrete to the slabs okay now as mentioned earlier we are measuring the concrete for our slab through the beams right so that means that it will be for the entire horizontal length of 11 uh, meters by the 8 meters okay so we put the 11 uh, by 8. now obviously we know that concrete is measured in cubic meters and i could have put that 0 0.20 there but i want to simplify things right and i have decided not to put the 0 0.20 there but to put it there as a constant so that i'm able to add this description here for formwork which is measured in square meters all right so we go and formwork to soffits of slab not exceeding 250 millimeters thick propped up exceeding 3.5 not exceeding 5 meters and that is 11 by 8. Okay, now moving on to the next description it says deduct ditto. So what we are deducting is the formwork to the soffits of slab because remember when we measured the um, formwork to the size and soffits of, of our beams, we already measured this part over here. So there's an over measuring. Okay, so we need to obviously adjust for the formwork so that we don't so that we avoid um over measuring okay so we say 37 which is the perimeter length of the of the external beams multiplied by 0 0.25 which is the thickness of our of of the beams okay so that's the first dimensions that you put there for a and then we move on to the second one which is 25 that's for the internal beams right so we say 25 by 0 0.25 okay and we're done with that adjustment now moving on to the formwork to the sides of the beams as mentioned earlier this is really just for the purpose of simplifying our takeoff process okay you could have measured uh, the formwork to the sides of the beams with the formwork that you measured earlier for the sides and the soffits but obviously just purpose of simplifying the process now we can measure um, formwork to size of beams including propping up as before so we take that for the full length of uh, 11 right so it's 11 meters multiplied by 2 multiplied by the thickness of the of the slab or the remaining part of our beams right so it's 0 0.2 and then we have uh, for the vertical lengths which is 8 by 0 0.2 and then you multiply that by 2 which is this one over here and just like that we have reached the end of our exercise thank you so much for joining me in this three-part series i really hope that you found the takeoff exercises as informative and enjoyable as i did um, if you have any questions feedback or suggestions please don't hesitate to comment down below i'm always here to help and learn from your input 
And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on the notification bell. In this way, you won't miss any of my upcoming content and tutorials. And to all of you who are preparing for exams, I wish you the very best in your preparations. And I do hope that my videos have added value to your study efforts. Until we meet again next year, take care, stay inspired and keep learning. See you guys in the future.